What's up guys? Today we are reviewing the SkyDrop Smart Sprinkler Controller. Pretty awesome gadget here. It costs a little up front, uh, but it might save you water, save you money in the long term. Let's do a quick unboxing. Here's the outside of the box. Inside you'll see we have the head unit where you control everything from and the LCD screen. You see there it's got a little QR code. You can scan in if you want a shortcut to see an installation video. Um, probably won't need it, it's pretty easy to install. On the back there you just have the little data connector that you're going to mount to the mounting bracket that is right here. So under that we have the AC adapter of course which you will need and this blue rectangle that's the mounting bracket you're going to put on the wall. The bottom there is where you put your sprinkler wires through. Back, not a lot to see there. And under that, we've got some wire labels. If you want to use those to make the move over from your old controller easier, I didn't. Uh, an installation guide, also probably won't need because as you'll see here, it's really easy to install. And finally, some screws to mount the bracket to the wall. So find your old controller, it might look like that or maybe like this. I'm actually replacing two of them. So you're gonna wanna find your wires wherever they're connected to. And first thing is take a picture of them for reference. So as you're moving to your new SkyDrop controller, you can refer back to this picture to see which numbers each wire correspond to, make it a little bit easier. I did this instead of the stickers. And when you're done with that, go ahead and unscrew all of your old sprinkler wires. And if you have the two AC adapter wires like I did, unscrew those as well. And of course, once everything's unscrewed, remove it from the wall. I'm gonna remove this and the other one, which I had interconnected. And give it a quick wipe down because it was kind of disgusting underneath. And now we can get our sky drop out. You can see there it's got a built-in leveler, a bubble level that you can use to make it nice and even. So level it out and start screwing in each corner to get it fixed to the wall nice and tight. Then you're just going to slip your wires up through that bottom thing nice and easy. I like the rubber things to kind of help keep all the junk and dirt out. So you can fan out the wires here. And I almost forgot I got to put the AC cable in too. So just slide that in. Luckily it's not a screw in type like my old one. You just kind of push it up in there and snap it into the middle top part of the SkyDrop mounting bracket. Once you're done with that, you can just one by one go through each of your wires. That white one I have is the C wire, the common wire to power it. Then each of the five other wires is just one of the sprinkler zones. So I'm going to go through, connect all five. It's super easy. You don't even have, need to have a screwdriver or anything to get them in there. And there we go. Looks pretty good. Let's uh, get the faceplate and just snap it right in there. It did take a little bit of force, got to give it some power to get it snapped in. And I guess now's as good a time as any to finally remove the plastic protection there. And here we go. All that's left is to plug it in and wait for it to kind of start up, takes a minute or two. And green light on, it's a pretty good sign. Then you should come up here in just a second. There it is, so you start with entering your zip code, which it uses to kind of figure out what kind of weather forecasts your area is gonna have. So you just use the jog dial for everything. So you push it in to confirm and just go left or right to move the numbers and everything else you set up. It's pretty nice and slick. A lot better than most interfaces you find on these kind of gadgets. And next up, you're just gonna find your Wi-Fi network from the list here. It should be fairly close to the top. Push it in to find it. Enter your Wi-Fi password. Uh, to save you time, I'll skip this, but if you're curious, mine's just password one, two, three, of course. Then it'll connect to your network. Might take just a minute. When it finally connects here, it's gonna give you a one-time security code that you'll just use to cross-reference your SkyDrop account, which you can set up at any time for free. 
It'll use that to connect your account to your actual sprinkler controller. So I'm putting the code in here. You'll see in the background, link successful, which means it's now connected to your phone or tablet. From here, you pretty much just go through all the watering information on each of your sprinkler zones. So you'll tell it what time you want it to start, what type of uh, yard soil you have. Mine's definitely clay, unfortunately. What kind of plants you're watering in the sprinkler zone. A shade level, non partial full. The slope of the zone. What type of sprinkler heads you have. And finally, how long do you want it to go for? And then you pretty much just repeat that same process for each of your zones. So I'm going to fast forward here. I've got five zones. It detects based on how many wires you connected, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to answer all the questions for my five zones. And there you go. Setup finished. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the web interface now. If you go to skydrop.com and click on the top there, manage my skydrop. You'll just enter in your name or your email and your password that you set up when you make your account. And here's the interface. It's pretty nice, well laid out. You've got all your zones up there on the right. You can do pretty much anything you can do from the unit itself. Change the soil type of your zones, the plant type, shade type. You can push there to manually kick off one of the watering zones. You can click here to water all the zones. And you can even click down here to see what kind of forecast you have, which it will use to alter the watering habits. So pretty cool, gives you an idea of what it's gonna do. All right, let's take a look at the mobile app now. If you search SkyDrop, it was actually the second result for me in the search there. Give it a quick install. Um, unfortunately though, my review of the mobile app is gonna be very brief and uninformative because as soon as I opened it up, it crashes. So I wanted to see if it was my device or the, the app. So I pulled up another device to test on and same thing, crashes right on startup. So unfortunately, if your version of Android is too old, or in my case, too new, you're out of luck and is not currently supported. You can still go to the skydrop.com interface on your mobile browser. As you can see here, it's a little bit clunkier. It's not really de designed for the small screen of a phone. But I did reach out to them and they said an update is coming to fix it, so we'll see. All right, back to the controller. If you want to manually kick off a zone, from the unit itself, it's also pretty easy. Just pick a zone and you can do, you know, change any of the same settings you set up before or go to the top and do water this zone and it'll turn blue, which means it is currently watering. If you press it in again, it'll stop. You can go down, do water all zones. Pretty much all the same stuff you can do from the web interface. So there we go. Pretty awesome device. I'm really liking my SkyDrop so far. Um, the installation and setup really couldn't have been easier. And the physical design as well as the web interface are both designed very well. They're very easy to use, uh, pretty intuitive. The only complaint I had obviously was that both of the devices I tested with, the mobile app crashed right after I installed them. So I couldn't really test that out very well. But other than that, I can't really complain. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them and thanks for watching.